Good morning. Today's lesson is on estimating the percent of a number. Decades edition. The first thing we're going to talk about is benchmark percents. Benchmark percents are commonly used to estimate because they are easy to compute. It helps to memorize what these percents are as fractions. So several of these I want you to write down in your notes so that you can refer back to them throughout this lesson. The first is 50% is equal to 1 half. 10% is equal to 1 tenth. 20% is equal to 1 fifth. And 25% is equal to 1 fourth. When finding one of these percents of a number, you simply divide by the number in the denominator. For example, if I wanted to find 50% of a number, all I would do is divide by two, since the denominator of one half is two. To find 10% of a number, I would simply divide by 10 and so on. So let's try some examples. Because 50% is equal to one half, and if you remember back to turn a percent into a fraction, we simply put it over 100 and simplify. So that is why 50% equals 1 half. This information helps because to find 50% of a number, you just divide by 2. So here's our example. If I asked you to find 50% of 40, since 50% is equal to 1 half, all you need to do is find half of 40. To find half of 40, you just divide by 2. Because two is in the denominator, that's what we're dividing by. 40 divided by two equals 20. So 50% of 40 equals 20. Now let's focus on some estimating with these percents. If I were asking you to estimate 47% of 593, we're going to use compatible numbers. 47% is really close to 50%, and 593 is really close to 600. So to find 50% of 600, remember that 50% is the same as 1 half. To find half of 600, all you need to do is divide by 2. 600 divided by 2 equals 300, so 47% of 593 is approximately 300. This little sign right here stands for approximately. So whenever you see that, it doesn't mean it equals 300, it's about or approximately 300. Now we are entering the 50s decade and some more benchmark percent questions for you. 10% is equal to 1 tenth. To find 10% of a number, you just divide by 10. So if asked what is 10% of 60, all you need to do is divide 60 by 10, which gives you 6. So 10% of 60 is simply 6. Estimating with this benchmark percent, here's a word problem for you. Mrs. Repan's family ate at the 50s diner. Their meal cost $93. If she had to pay 7% tax on her bill, about how much tax did she have to pay? So the first thing you want to do is figure out what is the question actually asking. The question is, what is 7% of $93? And we know we need to estimate because it says about how much. So we're going to use compatible numbers. 7% of 93 can be rounded. 7% would turn into 10% and 93 could round to 90. Remember, since 10% is equal to 1 tenth, all we need to do to solve this is divide 90 by 10. 90 divided by 10 equals 9, so 7% of 93 is approximately $9. entering the 60s and early 70s decade. Here are some more benchmark percents. I want to remind you to please pause this as you need to take notes so that you don't feel like you're falling behind. But 20% is equal to 1 fifth. 
So following the same pattern, to find 20% of a number, you just divide by 5. If you were asked what is 20% of 25, all you would do is divide 25 by 5. So 20% of 25 equals 5. Now estimating with this benchmark, if I had asked you to estimate 19% of 42, 19 is really close to 20, and 42 can be rounded to 40. Because 20% equals 1 fifth, to solve this problem, I just need to divide 40 by 5. 40 divided by 5 equals 8, so 19% of 42 is approximately 8. Here's one more benchmark percent for you. 25% is equal to 1 fourth. So to find 25% of a number, you just divide by 4. If asked what is 25% of 80, the only math you need to do is divide 80 by 4. 80 divided by 4 equals 20, so 25% of 80 equals 20. Now, if you were asked to estimate what is 24% of 62, you could do this in two ways. I'm going to show you using 25%, and I'm going to take 24% and round it to 25, and 62, I'm going to round to 60. Remember that 25% equals 1 fourth. So to solve this, all I need to do is divide 60 by 4. 60 divided by 4 equals 15, so, 24% of 62 is approximately 15. Now you could have also rounded 24% to 20 and gotten a similar answer, and that's okay because estimating is just giving you about the right answer. So there is usually more than one way to do these estimation problems. One last thing. Since not all percents are close to a benchmark percent, you can find a benchmark percent and then multiply. For example, if you are asked to find 40% of a number, you can first find 10% of the number and then multiply by 4, because 40% is made up of four 10% amounts. So what is 40% of 70? I'm first going to find 10% of 70. To find 10%, because 10% equals 1 tenth, I just need to divide by 10. 70 divided by 10 equals 7. And then because 40% is the same thing as 10% plus 10% plus 10% plus 10% or 10% times 4, I just need to multiply that 7 by 4. 7 times 4 is 28. So 40% of 70 equals 28. Sorry, it says 10 there, but 40% of 70 equals 28. Now it's your turn. I want you to turn to page 140 in your book, and you're going to try these three questions on your own. The answers will be on the next slide, and I will step you through the process. Don't peek. I want you to try them on your own, so please pause the slide or the, the video at this point. Try to work out one, two, and three. There may be more than one right way to do it, but you should be around the answers that I will give you on the next slide. So again, please take a moment to pause and work these three questions out. All right, hopefully by now you've been able to complete these questions on page 140. The first one here, 19% of $53. We're going to turn that into 20% of 50. And since 20% is equal to 1 fifth, all we're going to do to solve this is divide 50 by 5. 50 divided by 5 is 10. So 19% of 53 is approximately 10. And number two, we're also going to use the same benchmark percent of 20, because 21 is really close to 20. And then 96 is very close to 100, so we're looking for 20% of 100. 20% is equal to 1 fifth. So to solve this, we're just going to divide 100 by 5. 100 divided by 5 equals 20. So 21% of 96 is approximately 20. In number three, 59% of 16, we're going to take that 
and turn it into 60%, and the 16 I'm going to round up to 20. Now there is more than one way to do this. You could use the 20% benchmark and then multiply by three, but I'm gonna show you by using the 10% benchmark, which is equal to 1 tenth. To find 1 per to find 10% of 60, we just divide by 10, and then since 60% is equal to 6 tenths, we'll then multiply by 6. So I'm first just going to divide 20 by 10 to find that 10%. 20 divided by 10 equals 2. And then because 2 times 6 is 12, 59% of 16 is approximately 12. I did that there because there will be 6 10% amounts. So I find 10% and then I multiply by 6 to find out what 60% of 20 is equal to. Your homework for tonight is to complete page 141 all. We will go over this page on Monday and you will also have a quiz on Monday that covers converting percents to fractions and decimal as well as converting decimals and fractions back to percents. It will not cover this lesson. We will continue learning more about percents on Monday as well, but your quiz is solely on converting percents to fractions and decimals and back to decimals and fractions.